guys, it's your boy Dino aka DRP here and welcome back to another video to my channel and today guys I'm going to check out the latest death battle that was released yesterday but I didn't react to it, why? Because it was my birthday yesterday, my 23rd birthday so uh, yeah I couldn't you know, react to it yesterday or didn't have the time unfortunately. Um, but today I have the time so I'm going to go ahead and react to it. However, this is one of those battles where I'm literally going in blind when it comes to both characters because I have no idea who both of these characters are. I do know I do know their respective games though. So Leon Kennedy from Resident Evil versus Frank West from Dead Rising. So I do know the Resident Evil game and the Dead Rising games. I haven't played them but I've definitely heard of them. Uh, but I don't know either of these characters. So Leon Leon Kennedy versus uh, Frank West. Uh, I have no idea who they are. Uh, so it's going to be one of those matches where I have to watch the um, research in order for me to make a decision in my opinion on who would win and why so but i do really like those kind of um what the hell sorry about that <laughs> so yeah but i really do like one of um i really do like those uh kind of death battles because um you know i get to learn about these characters that i don't know and by the time the death battle finishes the video finishes i actually know you know something about them which is actually pretty cool uh, even though screw attacks research has been a bit off in the you know in in the past videos they are still very good at research you know most of the video some of the most of the videos are still pretty good research uh, researches so yeah we'll see how it goes so uh, I'm not gonna waste any more time I'm gonna go right into the video if you guys want to go ahead grab something to eat or drink that's totally fine because uh, it's a 19 minutes, no 20 minutes video. If you want to do that, that's fine. You can pause the video. If not, uh, that's also fine. Because uh, I'm just going to go ahead and jump into this reaction. Uh, yeah, in 3, 2, 1, go. Surviving the undead apocalypse takes grit, perseverance, and an army's worth of firepower. With all that and some luck, these two became experts in zombie fight. Leon Kennedy, the top cop and government agent in Resident Evil. And Frank West, the backyard wrestling MacGyver of Dead Rising. Okay. He's with an iron boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find okay. out who would win <laughs> a death battle. Really? <laughs> the guy who was riding a bicycle through these zombies. As a child, Leon Scott Kennedy's father instilled in him a strong sense of justice. Following in his footsteps, Leon joined the police force, determined to uncover the darkest riddles and uphold the law. So, for his first ever assignment, he took the biggest challenge he could find. Instead of picking an easy job like dishing out dastardly parking tickets, he was off to Raccoon City to investigate a bunch of mysterious murders. Uh. His instincts were good, perhaps too good. Officer Kennedy wound up choosing the most challenging and dangerous assignment he possibly could have. Mm. Yeah, it turns out Trash Panda Town was due for a big old zombie outbreak, Damn. and Leon got stuck in the middle. How's that for hazing the rookie? <laughs> he wasn't a rookie for long. After fending off the zombie threat and even taking a bullet from the grassy knoll, Leon was recruited by the American government as a special agent, bodyguard, uh -huh. and their go-to specialist for apocalyptic events. Time, okay. In all cases, if people that are bitten become infected themselves and go on to the the guy then. The way to stop the spread of infection is to destroy the infected's brains. Shoot them in the head. His That's something at the I know. Academy pretty turned much him into a pretty point. tough guy, but as a special agent, he became unstoppable. Hey. All thanks to his extensive firearms training, extreme driving tests, and the study of tactical response scenarios. Guess what martial art they teach American Damn. Secret Service members? Jeez. A traitorous Russian one called Sistema, and Leon is an expert at it. Damn. Sistema is a free-form martial art focusing on disabling targets via pressure points and joints. Damn. While not specifically <laughs> lethal on its own, Sistema also involves quite a lot of training with knives and firearms. Ooh. That's good, because I don't think fists would be enough to take. Wow, the he's actually using martial. He's actually using martial arts against the zombies as well. That was really Really badass of him. I was seeing you on the right hand side, and that was really badass of Leon Kennedy to do that. I, you know what? I, I gotta give him a clap for that. That was pretty cool. There's like the tyrants, skinless dogs, and 
Is that Gene Simmons? Right. These bio-organic weapons, or B.O.W.s, were far tougher than your ordinary run-of-the-mill zombie. Thankfully, Leon has the weapon wow. to take them on. Dying. He's efficient with just about any kind of gun. But like me, he loves carrying around his favorites, including the Silver Ghost, a unique pistol specifically designed for him. He's also got a modified 50 caliber Desert Eagle Magnum, a gift from his father. Look, it, bastard. Yeah. All I ever got from my dad was a sore cheek. While he has no problem <laughs> dual-wielding handguns, Leon is extremely proficient in dealing damage with heavier weapons, mm. such as the M203 grenade launcher Dying. or his ludicrous rocket launcher special. Dying. This red-tipped wrecker of an RPG is far more powerful than an ordinary propelled grenade. The gun itself looks similar to a classic RPG-7 model, first used as an anti-tank weapon by the Soviet Union. Since the red grenade is so deadly, it's probably a thermobaric explosive booster, which can launch over six hundred feet for a sixty foot wide explosion. Dying. That's <laughs> more than enough to take down one of those bow wows. Leon has plenty of experience with hand grenades, rifles, flamethrowers, etc. But one weapon stands above them all. His knife. Oh yeah, Leon's combat knife is way more than some plain old red cutter. He's practically magic when it comes to his skill with a knife. Wow. If he gets hit, he'll be fine. Probably. <laughs> I mean, he's wearing lightweight level 3 tactical body armor, which can stop bullets from a magnum and even some rifles. If wow. he does take a hit, he's carrying some healing herbs, which he can also take a hit from, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> he's not snorting drugs, Boomstick. Healing herbs have a history of being applied as aerosol spray or ground up with a okay. Well, once Leon became the government's numero uno answer to all their zombie problems, he was stopping outbreaks all over the world. He had to pull off some awesome feats to do it. Dying. He even had to make some horrible sacrifices along the way. Wow. Like that poor, poor Ducati. Leon is strong enough to crush a skull or even force open the jaws of a giant infected <laughs> shark. The shark appears to be similar in size to a great white, which has a bite strength of nearly two tons of force. Wow. That shit's crazy. Yeah. And speaking of which, let's talk a little bit about Leon's relationship with boulders. Relationship with what? Boulders. <laughs> You know, they're like really big rocks. I think you would know that. Well, he fought Chris Redfield to a standstill, the famous boulder puncher himself. And while Leon doesn't seem to have Chris's brute strength, he did push over this giant rock with a little help. Leon is pretty quick too. He's dodged bullets, a moving laser grid, and even outraced wow. this tyrant, which, according to the Inside of Biohazard Guide, could run up to 43 miles per hour. He's even thrown his trusty knife fast enough that this creepy guy didn't even react until, uh... <laughs> the average time for a person to perceive and react to movement is Dive. a quarter of a second. Wow. Leon appears to be about 30 feet away from his target Salazar here. Wow. He threw his knife around 80 miles per hour. <laughs> the average speed for most world-class knife throwers is only 35 miles per hour, so he's more than double that. Oh my god. Leon is tough. Having survived blows from various large and burly BOWs, wow. he even matched the strength of Umbrella Agent Jack Krauser. Krauser was strong enough to perform a 30-foot vertical jump. What? Generally, <laughs> men can pull off a 2-foot vertical jump at most, making Krauser potentially 15 times stronger than the average man. At this point, let's just say that Leon is basically superhuman. <laughs> it's like he has zero weaknesses. Au contraire, Boomstick, Leon has his fair share of baggage. He's pretty gullible, oftentimes tricked by those wilier than himself. Go, save yourself. Is it just me, or does everybody always ignore what I say? Like her? You think he just might be trying to get laid? Lord knows I've done a few dumb things on that quest. I don't know about his chances, though, rocking that hairdo. But after more than 15 years of nightmarish catastrophes, Leon's mental state has become more fragile and more reliant on alcohol. Ah, you and me both, pal. He always needs a little chaos in his life. And when it comes down to it, that's what makes him such a freaking badass. Better try a new trick, because that one's getting old. Wow, okay. They've Upon first... they've made him look very strong, Leon Kennedy. So I'll talk about him more after seeing Frank West, of course. Impression: Frank West seems to just be your average journalist, but he's far more than that. 
I'll say. He's covered wars, you know. As a photojournalist, Frank will regularly go far beyond the call of duty to uncover his next big scoop. It was this ironclad determination which led him to a mall in the town of Willamette, Colorado, where he found the zombie apocalypse. Oh, crap. What? Did you just say zombies? But Frank's down to rough up dozens of zombies every now and then. And with his wrestling history and battlefield experience, he's got history. the skills to do it. Okay. Despite never having fired a gun at another person before Willamette, Frank discovered he's a natural when it comes to firearms. Really? He's handy with all sorts of guns, like pistols, shotguns, machine guns, and a beautiful minigun. Wow. Oh, I love it. He's yes, even got a that. silver ghost, a unique pistol specifically designed for government agent Leon G Hey, wait a minute. But Bullets can only last so long against a never-ending zombie horde, so Frank was forced to improvise. And thanks to being in a shopping mall, he had plenty of options. From obvious choices like sledgehammers, baseball bats, and chainsaws, to out-of-the-box picks like shampoo, lipstick, lawnmowers, and a shopping cart, Frank has an uncanny ability to effectively weaponize pretty much anything he gets his hands on. Wow. Garbage, toys, food, you name it, this guy does not overlook anything oh. with dealing potential. He even uses uses his camera flash as a weapon. His primary camera appears to be a Nikon D100, which has a flash color temperature of 6000K, or crystal white. When used up close, it's nearly as effective on the eyes as a flashbang grenade. Anyway, oh! Frank survived the zombie horde with flying colors. His next step was obvious. Profit from it! He became famous overnight. He was named the Hero of Willamette hosted a TV show, and scored all sorts of endorsements. Wow. His love of using baseball bats to smash zombie skulls in even landed him a great commercial deal with <laughs> Deadwood Pro Baseball. Be yeah, serious. So he's making tons of money off of killing people. <laughs> My dream. I know, right? All these zombies were technically people once, so when you really think about it, this whole situation uh. was pretty freaking awesome. Uh, live as a dream, buddy. Oh. You earned it. Uh-huh. Anyway, fame is a fickle mistress, and it wasn't long until Frank's 50 minutes of fame were cut short. He eventually became a college teacher, but not before several more encounters with the undead kind. Uh, and the more he fought him, the more creative he got about it. <laughs> Frank's greatest asset is his impressive ingenuity. With nothing but his blood, sweat, and tears, and a shitload of duct tape, Frank perfected the art of combination weapons. Oh. Like the paddle saw, where he took a kayak paddle and strapped on a couple chainsaws. Oh, for wow. A in good time. The electric crusher is an invention combining the power of a car battery with the weight of a sledgehammer, crafting a mule near for mortals. The Blitzkrieg is a freaking wheelchair powered by a car battery firing machine guns all over the Okay. Place. Stephen Hawking could have even been dead with that. He can make a laser sword by sticking a gem into a flashlight. Don't ask me how. Wow. The Reaper is the unholy union of sickle and samurai sword. Wow. No, that is just scratching the surface. He's even got combo vehicles like what? the exosuit. That's a suit made of slurping machines. What? <laughs> ice tornadoes? Talk about cool. Fun in That is crazy. Even stranger, Frank has used an arcade machine to miraculously copy some of the powers of fellow Capcom characters. Oh, get out of here. Frankie. No, he's not magic. These powers come directly from costumes most commonly obtained from the machine. For example, he can don Ryu's key to perform her <laughs> or Man X's armor complete with the what? Mega Buster. You are what you wear. Speaking of costume changes, sadly, Frank eventually was caught by zombies oh. and wound up becoming another mindless slave of the undead oh, horde. Shoot. But it's okay. He got better. Frank has pulled off a lot of... Wait, what? Frank was cursed by a machine and completely removed his... Wait, Frank was... Cured by a machine in Barnaby's lab, which completely removed his zombie infection. He lost all of his zombie abilities and cannot call upon them anymore. What? Feats. Despite having little formal training aside from maybe a three-day combat journalist crash course, he's killed hundreds, maybe thousands of zombies, wow. giving him one of the highest body counts in video game history. Wow. He's really strong, too. He can pull a zombie's limbs and head off no problem. Whoa. And in the exosuit, he's pushed around a two-ton car. He's tough enough to survive long falls and devastating helicopter crashes with little issues. And he's quick enough to catch up to and board a train moving 15 miles per hour in less than three seconds. He can even hop off zombies' heads like a ninja so well that the zombies barely even notice. <laughs> Wait, they don't notice that he's literally jumping off their heads? 
I love it. I love this guy. But Frank has fought more than just mindless zombies. Yeah, like some uh, crazy clowns with chainsaws and a freeze gun, and plenty of other psychomaniacs. Whoa. Including oh, Lance I... Corporal Calder, the world's first intelligent soldier zombie. Also, I think it's important to note many of these feats were performed in the span of 72 hours with no sleep or rest. What? According to a study on sleep deprivation in 2010, an average human's physical and mental health begins to severely deteriorate after 36 hours of no sleep, resulting in disorientation and even hallucinations. Here I thought heavy drinking was the only way to legally hallucinate. Well, time to binge Netflix until I trip balls. <laughs> Whether by inhuman stamina or just a shit ton of adrenaline, Frank was in peak condition for twice as long as he should have been. Wow. There's that journalist determination again. Okay. Sure, he may be a bit of a self-serving asshole, but he's pulled off the impossible more than once, even when he got into his 50s. Once a survivor, always a survivor. <laughs> your very own disposable. <laughs> wow, really? It's fantastic. <laughs> really? I mean it. Seriously. I need a raise. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, that's interesting. Wow, okay. So, wow, okay. So, I didn't expect. Frank West to be as good as he was because he re all I saw him doing at the start was just taking cameras like that so I don't know what he was capable of and they started off with him talking about his wrestling background and they started talking about more and more stuff like the fact I was surprised that he was infected he became a zombie and he was cured out of the zombie infection as well so he yeah that's pretty damn cool um so they have mentioned that Frank uh, Frank West is able to use any object as a weapon in his own creative way uh, and he has the ability to be very creative and use combination weapons so as you saw he created a robot that was full of slurp slurpy machines and that was really cool he used like as a rowing boat and he attached chainsaws to it and he was just weaving that around to kill the zombies that was very creative in my opinion uh, he was using uh, like some sort of wheelchair with like guns, you know, ammunition just popping out of the wheelchair. That was very good as well. So uh, it seems like it seems like the man has gone through a lot. He's able to, and not to mention, they said that Frank West has probably one of the biggest body counts in the history of games when it comes to killing zombies. So that's a great plus for him. Uh, however, Leon Kennedy, um, they've mentioned a lot of good things about Leon Kennedy as well. You know, Leon Kennedy has the Russian martial arts. Uh, and uh, when it comes to hand-to-hand -hand combat, he uses his knife really well. He, he's uh, an expert in firearms, uh, like pistols and stuff, but he's more effective. His, uh, he can do a lot more damage with, uh, a, you know, more bigger weapons, kind of like the shotgun. Uh, heavier weapons like shotgun rocket launchers or all that stuff so um and they also uh, mentioned that uh, leon kennedy uh you know has a lot of strength uh he was able to basically uh like kill a zombie f zombie what shark or whale i don't know what it was it looked like a massive fish uh, but also he is able to tank attacks from like a huge zombie itself like he's able to tank those attacks like nothing and he's always it seems like he's always prepared because he, he you know he has his body armor so if he even if he gets shot you know uh it would protect him and if he gets hurt then he always uh, always has medicines to help him um i just don't know it seems like leon kennedy uh has really good things but there are ways that frank west could counter attack with him uh and at the same time you know they said that uh, Leon Kennedy is very gullible, so he did caught, get caught by the flash grenade one time. So, oh wait, flash Yes, you know what? Um, since he was caught by that flash grenade, you know, they showed a scene of him in that game, uh, in the Resident Evil game. Uh, so that could happen with uh, Frank West, because Frank's, uh, Frank West's uh, camera actually acts like some called a frag grenade or flashbang grenade, where it just blinds you for a bit. So, Leon Kennedy might lose because he gets caught off guard by uh frank west's camera uh that could you know get him blind for one second and that might be enough time for leon uh, for frank west to finish the job so let, 
in my opinion, both both of these characters have uh, a huge amount of arsenal in them uh, that can pretty much overwhelm the other opponent. However, uh, when it comes to the arsenal, Leon Kennedy is a bit more limited because he uses a lot of firearm, and firearm does require ammunition. Uh, whereas Frank West, he uses pretty much any object that comes to mind and he can be so creative, he can just combine those weapons and actually attack with it. So, uh, I don't know, it's hard for me to tell. Uh, who do I th who do I want to win? I have no idea. I'll be, you know what, I'll be happy with either one of these guys winning. But if I have to choose one, you know, it's hard because... Leon Kennedy has a Russian martial arts background, you know, he's learned Russian martial arts and Frank West has got a huge background in uh, wrestling as well, so it's hard to tell. Who do I think would win? I'm gonna say Frank West because he's uh, slightly more unpredictable with what he does, um, especially, like I said, he's got the camera that might catch Leon Kennedy off guard. I don't know, it's, that's, it's difficult. I'm going to go with Frank West, but if Leon Kennedy wins, then I won't be surprised. Let's put it that way. So I think Frank West might win, but if Leon wins, then I won't be surprised. So let's go. The combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, let me tell you about how you can be the MacGyver of the kitchen. You know what? No, guys, I'll change my mind. I think Leon's going to win. I, I, it's because it's really hard. It's, it's going to be a really close match. So... Okay, I said Frank might win, but now I'm thinking Leon might win. I have no idea, so I need to choose one though. I have to choose one, guys. Um, who should I go for? I'm sticking with Frank West. I'll stick for Frank West. Even if I'm wrong, that's fine, because I know I'm going to enjoy it. That's Frank West. <laughs> Sweet! Just what I was looking for. There you go, all of these objects. What are you doing? No one's supposed to be here. Never stopped me before, pal. <laughs> Dang. This. <laughs> But Leon is known to be able to tank a lot of attacks. Look at that, he bloody broke the baseball bat. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> nice, I, I knew that camera was going to come in useful. Oh, that attracted the sounds of the zombies. Oh my god, that's not good. There you go. Ah, nice. The millionaire wannabe item. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh boy, this is intense. They seem really equal, actually. Oh shoot. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh yes, I forgot he can do that. He can change into the actual um costume of the character in that arcade game and actually gain the abilities like Ryu, Mega Man, um all of those characters that's so cool okay yeah i forgot about that yes i'm so sorry i forgot uh that was one of the main things frank west can do that uh so that would actually give him an edge in battle which is why i think frank west might win oh mega man that should be no problem for him Bye. whoa oh uh-oh. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Damn, he was hurt pretty bad. Oh, 
Oh. Oi. Eh. <laughs> the slurpy machine robot. The slurpy machine robot. <laughs> That's the yeah. Ah, uh, his rocket launcher. Uh oh, not good. Yes, I knew it. Yeah, it looks like Frank Quest has got this. Oh. Oh my. Oh nice, okay, that's pretty cool. No! Okay, okay. You know what, I'm not surprised Leon Kennedy won. Uh, because I had a, I had a feeling that either of them would have won. Uh, with in different scenarios and it seems like Leon Kennedy was on top. Uh, it makes sense though because like I said Leon Kennedy has taken a, he has tanked a lot of hits from people and zombies so it makes sense that he is able to keep up with someone like Frank West. Coming back from the dead this time. Frank's cheeky strategies and endlessly creative arsenal certainly put up a good fight. Yes. But in the end Leon just had him beat in nearly every other category. Yeah. Frank was one tough cookie, but Leon's superhuman abilities were just more impressive. Yeah. He pushed the two-ton car, right? Yes, which is similar to Leon holding back the shark's two-ton bite. Yeah. But his boulder feat was much more impressive. By comparing the boulder's size to Leon, it appears to have weighed around nine tons at minimum. While Leon did have help pushing it, even half of nine tons is much heavier than anything Frank's lifted yeah. or pushed. Yeah, okay. Leon Makes and sense. Frank seemed equally tough, but Leon was definitely quicker. Bullet Timing, laser oh dodging, yeah! Health. Leon's speed and precision with his knife on its yeah, own is true. more impressive than any speed feat Frank's got. Yeah, but in enough. the end, the most important question was whether or not Leon could cope with Frank's insane weaponry and unpredictable creativity. But Leon's seen plenty of crazy shit in his career. <laughs> Lots of surprising yeah. and off-putting monsters. <laughs> his years of formal training and more consistent combat records certainly lent him the wow. experience needed to win. He's survived numerous battles with enemies powerful enough to one-shot him, and he's shown plenty of creative strategy and critical thinking mid-fight. Like when he fought Tyrant Glenn, using momentum from his own injuries yeah. and throwing a friggin' motorcycle through the air. <laughs> Leon was just too fast, too strong, too experienced, and too badass. He was frankly on his game. The winner is Leon Kennedy. Okay, good work, good work to Leon Kennedy. Um... Like I said, if he does win, I'm not surprised uh, because of the feats they gave him. Yeah, he does. He does sound up very strong. Uh, he's, you know, against that huge zombie, he was able to use the momentum. Uh, he was able to tank those attacks. Uh, he was just superior and superhuman strength. So, yeah, Frank West, sorry, bro. Um, it was a great fight. I really enjoyed this fight because uh, of Frank West's unpredictability when it comes to his weaponry. And Arsenal, which is why I thought that might give him an edge, but it seems like uh, Leon Kennedy had them covered in every other category. So, okay, Thanks for what's the next death battle? battle? If you want to check out commentary for this episode, you can click the little box right over there for a first membership trial. And if you want to grab the music from this fight, go ahead and do so. It's down in the description. Oh, Doctor Strange? Who's that? Who's the other? Who's that? Doctor Strange versus Fate. I don't know who Fate is, but I do know Doctor Strange because I've seen all the Marvel movies. I'm a massive Marvel fan, so I do know who Doctor Strange is. I don't know who Fate is, uh, unfortunately. Um, that will be an interesting match indeed. Um, that will be an interesting match actually because I actually don't know whether because obviously in uh, when. Obviously, the film came out, Doctor Strange, he did possess the Time Stone, so... But then in the uh, Avengers Infinity War, he lost the Time Stone. Because... Spoilers! Anyone who's not watched it, please, if you guys don't want the spoilers, then click out of this video now. Uh, if you guys want to stay here, uh, spoilers. Yeah, uh, Thanos ends up retrieving the Time Stone. I think, well, it was more like... Uh, Doctor Strange gave the time stone to Thanos because yeah, Thanos was just too OP. Um, but yeah, and so it's gonna be interesting whether he's gonna have the time stone or not. If he does, if he does have the time stone in this death battle, then that's gonna give him a huge, huge edge in battle. Unless fate, 
Uh, I don't know who Fate is. I don't know whether he's from the DC universe. Uh, I'm pro pretty sure he might be. Um, Fate, unless Fate has some ability that he can do like reversing time as well or time loops or something like that. If he does have that ability, uh, same abilities that like, uh, Doctor Strange is able to do, then yeah, it might be a problem. It might be like a very close, uh, intense battle. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. But like I said, I enjoyed today's uh, death battle today. Didn't know any of these characters, but it was so fun to watch because I got to know what these characters are really like. Leon Kennedy's just superhuman. Just he's just too much to handle. Frank West, like I said, he he uh, he was very unpredictable. His weaponry was really good because he was very creative for a bit. Um and like I said the camera co just comes in useful. So uh I thought that might kinda like throws Leon Kennedy off guard, but I guess not. So you know hats off to Leon Kennedy, fair play and unlucky um Frank West. So on that note, I'll end the video right here, guys. Thank you so much for watching my uh, reaction to the death battle, uh, Leon Kennedy versus Frank West. So I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you guys did enjoy to my, if you guys did enjoy my videos, then smash the like button, comment and share, do all those good things. You to see more content on me doing more death battle reactions like this in the future. However, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button and join the DRP Guild today, so you won't miss a single video from my channel, guys. Whether it's gaming videos, whether it's reaction videos, or whether it's live streams. So as always, guys, this is your boy Dino signing out, and have a nice day. Stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Until then, peace.